guys before you watch this video i just want to come on here and say please 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 if you watch this video please subscribe to my channel um and please comment please like just do everything you need to do on this platform <laughs> please it helps so so much thank you all hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a paranormal update starting from next week there will not be a paranormal paranormal update for a couple of weeks it's just going to be different paranormal things and paranormal stories leading up to halloween and then if anything else happens i'll update you if not yeah, I won't. Um, so I'm making this video for a massive reason today because I caught something while I was filming this video. Now I started filming this video yesterday and about a minute into filming it, something happened, which I'll show you in a minute. And it made me stop filming and I had to stop. I literally had to sage. I was so freaked out by what happened. Genuinely, I've never been so freaked out by anything for a long long time as i was yesterday so we'll put that clip in now and you guys can see what happened before please tell me you just heard that so yeah the three taps the three knocks came from behind me so i'm in the kitchen now and where i was sat it was literally about two feet behind me the knocks were there. As I've said before, I am by myself when I film these because I don't like speaking in front of people for one. I don't know, it's a weird thing. Um, but as by myself, nothing could have done that noise. There was nothing here. There was no one here. I can't explain it. It was the weirdest thing ever. So like I said, I stopped filming. I kind of did a couple of things to kind of ease myself from feeling quite uncomfortable and ease this house from feeling quite uncomfortable because I do sage a lot, like I've said. I do do a lot of things in the house that would potentially calm it down and make things a lot better. But yesterday, it was having none of it. Um, I woke up today, everything seems to be pretty peaceful. Nothing so far. So yeah, but, so I'm gonna get into what happened prior to what, the knocks. So yesterday was quite a weird day for me in general um, with paranormal things. So one thing that happened was I was in my room and I have my earphones in. I took them out for literally two minutes and I heard my brother's drawers in his room open and close. Now, I have not heard them do that for a while simply because his drawers are broke. He's knocked one of his drawers so one of them doesn't really open and when you open one, they all kind of make this weird noise and it's, it's disastrous. It takes a bit, he needs to fix it. <laughs> if you're watching this, fix it. Um, but either way, it takes a bit of a pull and different things to open a drawer and I heard the drawer open and I heard it close. So I literally kind of very, not not that I was scared, but I was more freaked out because I just thought someone's like in the house. There's no way them drawers can open because they are broke. They are literally broke. To open it would take a quite a, a forceful pull to open the drawer. And um, there was no one there, literally nothing there at all. So that was that, that did freak me out. I didn't like that at all. And then all yesterday while I was filming again, I kept hearing these shuffly noises. Um, I was filming my fall video, which you'll see before this one, or after, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put up first yet. Um, but as I was filming it, I had to stop filming that too because I just felt so uncomfortable. But I kept hearing these shuffly noises from behind me when I was filming the video. So I literally stopped filming that too. That was before the knocks. Um, it was just very, it was weird. I didn't, I couldn't really explain what was going on. And it was just very uncomfortable and I didn't like it. Like I said before, half the time I say 95% of the time, I feel completely fine when I hear a noise. I'm just like, mm. you know, or sometimes it's kind of like, oh, stop it. Like I get kind of frustrated with it. But recently I have not felt like that. I have felt very uncomfortable and very not nice. And I, I just, it, I can't explain it. I've said it before. It's just not the best feeling at all at the moment. So another thing has been whistling. I think I've said this before in a video I've heard whistling. Um, I think I've also said that my granddad whistles when he comes to the house. So a couple of days ago I heard this whistle. I went to the door thinking he was here. He wasn't there. And then that night, the same night, um, I came in here to lock up. And from in the kitchen, I heard this like man whistling. It was very clear. It was very weird. I did not feel uncomfortable in the slightest. I did not feel scared. I did not feel anything. I heard it whistle. I just carried on locking up. Nothing. I kind of went to bed thought about it yeah it was weird yes some people might be like why weren't you freaked out I don't know I didn't get a feeling of anything bad from it anything sinister from it it was just a whistle 
and it wasn't anything freaky it didn't freak me i didn't feel like it was harmful or like dark or anything like that i was just fine with it like i said sage every day anyway do different things totally love and light so i just kind of like brushed it off and that was that but then more things started to happen oh. a lot of things at the moment has been moving like i mean like i'll put something down and then 10 minutes after i go back and it's just not there and I know like you might think, you've just lost it, you've just moved it. I can't explain where the things go, what has happened, I have no idea. And then literally three days after, they'll pop up in the same place. Like it is, I don't get that. I really don't get that at all. I mean like sometimes I've moved something and I'm like, oh it's just me, I've just moved something, like blah blah blah. And then other times I'm like, no, like something is definitely happening. And I can't explain that at all. Our shower has decided in the middle of the night to drip. Now, I know a lot of people might just say, well, it's because you've been in the shower, but you know, different things. And yeah, it could be. But even the nights we've not used the shower, the shower is not wet at all. There's nothing going through the shower. Like random points of the night, the shower will just drip, but quite loudly and quite a lot of water will just drip from the shower and the sink. Never happened before, never had an issue before with that. That's just started. I can't explain that at all. It's a weird thing too. It's an, it's an odd thing because like sometimes I have my earphones in a lot so realistically I could miss quite a few things because my earphones are in but certain things make me like stop and take them out and just different things like right now I'm sat here I just heard the floor boards creak from upstairs I probably didn't catch it on this because it's quite far away um, I don't have a microphone I just have my camera to film on um, but that kind of stuff happens so many times in our day like I'm talking like 12 times a day tiny little things like footprint footprints like foot truffles different things will happen all the time the stairs have definitely been more of a thing recently when we've had people come upstairs especially at night when we're all in bed um and we've had a leak recently so it came from the top of the landing to the kitchen so where that happened the top of the landing has got like basically just floorboards where we just dry underneath out and the floorboards are very noisy when you stand on them Certain ones move and we stuck tape around some ones, like some little floorboards, because some, if you stand on them, they lift and different things. So we've stuck, kind of put tape around just to say like, don't stand on them ones. And at night, we've all heard the tape, literally as if someone's standing on it and it's moving the tape. It, that's not a possible thing. It only does it if a human or something stands on it or is leaning on it for it to make that noise. That again, not a clue. But I hear that at night, and I don't get freaked out by that either. Like, I'm not a very, because I love the paranormal a lot, some things doesn't bother me as much as other things. Some things I just take as, it's just one of them things. Some things I don't. But at the moment, I'm not taking it good. It is not fun. It is kind of getting a bit weird. Um, I'm gonna look into certain things that I can other, otherwise do to help. Because if it kind of carries on in this way, again, there was another noise. Um, I don't know what is the best route to go down. I really don't have a clue. If you've got any information, please tell me down below or email me. Not don't email me, my email's not on here. Um, Instagram message me, anything like that. Just kind of give me a heads up on what to do and different things like that. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Please don't forget to comment on this video, like this video and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to receive all the video updates that I do.